for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video we'll be looking at the Wrapped Pill, a new digital hydrometer that promises to offer more than its competitors products for less cash. So let's get to it. Digital hydrometers have been getting a lot of attention in recent years with products appearing all over the world homebrew market. I have tested and reviewed different popular digital hydrometers like the Till, Brewbrain Flow and Ice Spindle. I have also completed long term testing with these devices and have shared my findings plus I have compared other products like the Easy Dens and Common Hydrometers against digital hydrometers too. It is fair to say that all of the digital floating hydrometer products have come from relatively small companies though, compared to the larger homebrew manufacturers. So when one of the world's largest homebrew companies, Kegland, decides to enter its own product into this market segment, it is obvious to realise that this could be a game changer, considering their size and strength, combined with long term proven track record of innovation and quality at very down to earth prices. This ticks a lot of very interesting boxes for sure. So at this point the main question that everyone is going to have is what is different with the pill compared to other digital floating hydrometers. So let's now look at that. Firstly there is the method of connection. The Tilt for example connects via Bluetooth whereas the Ice Spindle and Brew Brain Flow connect by Wi-Fi, whereas the pill offers both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Naturally this offers a greater level of flexibility straight out of the box. Bluetooth offers a limited range meaning that to catch a signal a device will need to be close by, but this offers a much improved battery life over Wi-Fi. With Wi-Fi naturally a network needs to be within the range of your hydrometer, but you can check your device's readings via your phone or computer from anywhere with an internet connection. The pill's ability to have a choice between Bluetooth or Wi-Fi will allow your device to suit many more situations than devices with just one or the other connection method, which certainly increases its usability. There is also a very different ecosystem on offer. Keglands Wrapped offers support to a building family of Kegnan connected products, which includes the forthcoming Brazilla Gen 4 range of brewing systems, the Wrapped Fermentation Chamber, as well as the Wrapped Temperature Controller, and of course the Wrapped Pedal itself. The pill is one wrapped device that can be paired with another wrapped device like for example the wrapped fermentation chamber or affordable by most the temperature controller. Once the pill is paired to these devices that also control temperature this is where the real magic of this system begins. Shown on screen now is the process relationship between the pill to the wrapped temperature controller and to the attached heating and cooling devices. As an example, say you are fermenting a lager and you want to use the fast method, your pill can tell your wrap temperature controller when the 50% attenuation is reached. This then triggers a command to increase the temperature. Naturally after this point you can then in gravity to temperature steps, hit the high end temperature in as many steps as you like for a gentle ramp up. Then when your final gravity is stable your pill can then react to this and instruct your temperature controller to ramp down the temperature for lagering, again in stages if you wish or all at once, the choice is yours. Having an automated fermentation that is reactive to gravity rather than simply just time is a much more effective way to go and your end results will certainly prove it. Within the ramp portal you can pre-program in as many steps as you wish, which could be as simple as one step for fermentation and then another once the gravity is low enough to cold crash. Whatever you are looking for now can be automated in a way that is reacted to your beer's progress rather than an estimation of time. At the time of making this video the ramp temperature controller was not far away from release and I am expecting one shortly, which I will report on in the near future. There are other areas of enhancement that the pill offers compared to its competitors, one key area being its construction. The plastics used are more expensive but enjoy the benefit of having no plasticides or anything else that could be not good for your body. The pill also has no exposed threads offering a reduced risk of contamination. This design was also made to minimise interference factors like crawls and hops and CO2 bubbles from fermentation. Another important area is that once you're in Axos Portal mode, the pill will automatically check via Wi-Fi if there are any firmware updates available for it, and then with your approval, download and apply them. The pill is available in four different colours, red, blue, green and yellow that you see here. 
You can also just buy the empty housing in these different colours should you wish to replace the housing or change a pill's colour. This housing is made from a strong BPA-free Triton plastic, which is an enhancement on plastics used on previous similar products, and is certainly more expensive too. When the pill's housing is screwed together ready for measurement, the O-rings are not exposed, as you can see making it very sanitary as well as watertight. Let's now unscrew a pill and take a look. The pill is easy to unscrew and requires no further tools to open. As you can see here, there is a double O-ring seal. I am showing this video footage in real time so you can see how long it takes to unscrew. The pill is equipped with an 18650 rechargeable battery and a USB-C port for charging and updates. This is the first time I have seen a USB-C port used in such a device, which is another nice upgrade. By standard the pill will transmit gravity and temperature data every 60 minutes, but this is configurable. On this standard setting with Bluetooth, the battery can last for more than two years before needing to be recharged, or up to about five months when used with Wi-Fi. When you obtain your pill, you must charge it for 24 hours prior to use, and have the battery in place so that the unit can calibrate to the battery too. This is all clever stuff. By standard, the pill would work with most standard fermentation vessels of either plastic or stainless steel construction with a good signal. Kegland's own Kegmenta products have a much thicker stainless steel construction though, and it can be a real struggle for other hydrometers to get past this. For this reason, Kegland are also to offer an optional upgradable external antenna which can be installed onto the pill to solve this problem. The pill has two onboard LEDs that are found on the back of the circuit board that are visible from the clear section of the pill's housing. These are used to display status. There is a red LED that is present when charging. When charging is complete, this LED goes out. There is also a green LED that is used during connection and data reporting. To use the pill, you will need to create a wrapped portal account online and connect your pill to this account. This is an easy and fast process, and as soon as your pill is connected, you will be given the option to update its firmware, which is downloaded and installed automatically. The screenshots shown are from my mobile phone, but you can also connect from a computer's Wi-Fi too. The wrapped pill is supplied pre-calibrated, but it is smart to check this from time to time, including when you first get it. There are three levels of calibration to choose from, but the standard method should suffice for most users and just involve setting the pill in water. By offering these options, this should please all users, as those that want the fast route in can take the standard calibration, which is done in a matter of mere moments, or for the hardcore you can set a custom amount of calibration points at different gravities for even greater accuracy. Here is an example using the pill within the wrap portal, which can be reviewed on any device with an internet browser. To create and use an account is totally free of charge. The data reported here can cover specific gravity, bricks or Plato. There is also a choice between metric or imperial temperature measurement, as well as the current alcohol percentage and the pill's remaining battery life. This data can be exported in Excel spreadsheet format too, which I know will please a lot of people. I will now summarise my first impressions after using this product for some weeks. I find that the pill is an easy device to use that offers a good level of accuracy for a product in its class. I feel that its value for money is unrivaled when you consider its capabilities and features versus its price versus its competition. I am especially excited for the very near future of the wrapped platform when the pill can be paired with the new wrapped temperature controller or the wrapped fermentation chamber for live reactive fermentation profiles. It will also be awesome when the brews that are generation 4 brewing system comes along with its wrapped connectivity which will allow all stages from grain to glass to be captured within one portal. 2022 is certainly looking like a great year for both Kegland and their customers alike. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!